Hey, what's up, guys? James and Matt here back with you guys again. Um, so I had another question for Matt, and so I'm bringing him on the show again. So, guys, basically, I, you know, I'm spinning up a new sub account. I'm spinning up a new domain, and you know, I, I, I was making a, a new PayPal account. It was GHL Bounty Hunters, and I was like, "Is that what's your email?" I kind of wanted it to be for, you know, I wanted an email address, a, an inbox, right? I know how to send emails using GHL, but I didn't like these guys want to send me a, a, G, a, a an email verification link, right? So my question is like, how do I receive email from a new inbox? Like I literally just made that up. Like that this does not exist. Like this email, I just I knew I had the domain. I just say James at ghlbounteyhunters.com. It doesn't go anywhere. Luckily, they let me log in, but uh, but they um, you know I think they want to send me a. I think they want to send me some sort of comp. Yeah. Confirm your, yeah, this is why we're here. Confirm your email to use your account. I don't know how to do that. So Matt, what do you think? Okay. <clears throat> so what we need to do, so it's a brand new dom domain. There's no email sending infrastructure at all. Right. So the quickest thing that we could do, um, if we want this to, if we want to make a GHL location, your inbox for a domain, yeah, um, that's, this is what we can do. So let's, um, let's first go into your Melgun account. Let's okay. go ahead and get something established there. Okay. Dude, you're awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. Like, so many people, like they just draw a blank on some of this stuff and I'm, and I'm one of them. And so what we'll do, so, you know, normally I would frown upon using a root domain at, um, at a Melgun level, but that's what we're going to do. And that's okay. fine for now. So, uh, let's go ahead and go, go into sending. Let's go ahead and add your domain and let's add GHL bounty hunters. Okay. So this is separate than my little, I already did your cool sub account thing, your subdomain thing for that. Yep. So this yep. is separate from that then? To totally separate. Okay, cool. So where do I go? Yeah, go, go to sending on the left. Sending. Okay. And basically, add a, um, add, add a new, new domain. domain. Yet yeah, we want to create it. So, GHL Bounty Hunters. Yes. Okay, domain region. We want US, always US across the board. Uh, IP assignment option. We want shared IP. Can, the, I, can, uh, I, can I ask? Yes, I'm a US, but you know, trying to get an international audience, you know, would you when you say across the board, do you mean for everybody, like across the world? Yeah, for for everyone. It doesn't matter if you are considered EU, right? We always want to select US. Uh, that's right. only because there is a limitation with the uh, API between Mel Melgun and GHL. Okay. So always select US for GHL. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Um, so the domain authentication, which is DKI, I'm, I'll always double it. So, yep, 2048. Click add domain. Now, can I, can I just ask? Now, this has nothing to do with the fact that I have this domain already in my dream host. Like, that's where I bought the domain. Correct. Yeah. So, this is going to be for the um, email uh, layer. So, it's totally okay. separate, totally, totally different. Separate. Okay. Thank you. And then let's go ahead and get these uh, records added. So, typical records, right? Yep. Okay. And so, I'm going to do this for. I, I haven't put this into Cloudflare yet. Should I take that opportunity now or? Yeah, let's go ahead and get that done. Okay. Because does that, yeah, I guess, you know, if you're like me, you started out just kind of buying the domain. So do we need, I need to get, I'm going to stop using DreamHost's name servers or something like that? Yeah, what we could do is uh, we'll add it, add the domain to your Cloudflare account first, and okay. then we, we can flip the, the switch okay. over. Okay, so do I go to DNS from here or where? Yeah, go to DNS. Um, actually, um, I'm sorry, where it says ddxweb.com and it's gonna, uh, about, uh, an hour, arrow pointing to the left, click that, we wanna go back. I'm not seeing that. So on the top left, where it says Cloudflare, right and you got Thank DDX you. Web, yeah, go left, yep, and add a site here okay. to the right. Right. Okay. So. How much of this do I want? Get we just the want home. the root portion. Yes, yeah, so no. ghlbountyhunters.com. Just like that. Just like that. Yep. Click add site. 
and we want to go down to where it says free. Okay. So just so everyone knows with your free plan, you can take advantage of the features built for from Cloudflare uh, at a free level. So you get, you know, CDN, you get some uh, DDoS protection mechanisms, things like that, mm -hmm. as long as your records are proxied. Um, but there is a cap with free with a free plan, meaning that you have a uh, 1000 record cap. And for most folks, that's OK. But I've been running into a lot of clients that they're, they're starting to exceed that count. Yeah. So they got to go up to the twenty dollar a month. No big deal if you have that many people. In yeah, there. exactly. So continue. Con uh, continue. Yep. And now um, what I'll suggest here, let's go ahead and add the records um, at this level that Melgan wants us to add. We'll okay. get all of those added and okay. then we'll make a change between hosting platforms. So I'm thinking something like this, where I get this up on the right, mm -hmm. maybe, and then get this up on the left. Yeah, you could you could also stack your windows. That's sometimes what I do. Oh, oh yeah. How should I do that? Uh, how do just I just like that. that? So you can. Oh, um, I, just literally, I just literally. Um, that way I'm getting the width right. Mm -hmm. That way I'm getting that full width. But you started to go in the right direction, but this way is fine too. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can make this work. All right. So I'm literally just going to go add a record, mm -hmm. right? And it's a TXT, a TXT record. And that's the, uh, the name. Yeah. You could just put an at symbol here. It stands. So if, yeah, so you could use an at symbol. It's the same thing as putting in your, your root. Enter this value. Mm-hmm. Like that. Yep. Okay, so that's that one. And then, and then, do I want to just? Oh, is it bolded? Because I only need that part of it. Just that part of it. The front part. Is that why it's bolded? Yes. Okay. And I don't. I don't. Do I not need to put anything on there? In in the in the name. Oh, uh, no, that that's is it. The name. That is the name. I'm sorry. That's the name. That's the name. Yep, exactly. I had that wrong then. So then we'll copy this little guy. Mm -hmm. For the content. Okay. So we got the first two. And now the MX records. Mm -hmm. Okay. And just put that full host name. In yeah, here. or you could just use that symbol. Okay, so I could okay, just use the app. just because it's quicker. Mm -hmm. like and then that. it's a uh, prior priority of ten. Okay. Yeah, do the same thing again for MXB. And at, and then put a little B there. Yep. And while you're doing this, I'm going to put in our Zoom chat uh, DMARC policy. Okay. We might as well get that added as well. Okay. Okay. So there's my MX records and now the C name. And we're just going to just put email. It's just, yeah, just front, email just, for the C the name. Front part, right? Yep. And we do not want to proxy this one. Okay. Is that it? That's all of them. Mm -hmm. Yep. And well, let's add one more. Let's go ahead and add another text record. Okay. And you'll notice there in our Zoom chat that I've um, put in what you need. So for the name field, just grab that underscore DMARC. And the content field is the second line. Yeah. Thank and we're doing a reject policy just because this is the only thing you've got email foundationally so this is this is going to be fine should I, should I bring this guy into here now we're good on that yeah we're good now um so now we need to go so now we need to do one other thing so even though we've got it in cloudflare we need to switch hosting providers yeah you can go ahead and hit continue on 
Cloudflare. Okay. So now well, we'll take these name server addresses and put it in your other hosting provider. Okay, so I'm gonna go over to DreamHost. If you guys need to buy a domain, uh, I use D DreamHost to buy my domains. There'll be a link in the description below. My, my referral link. Okay, so now what? Go to here, Do, go to DNS for the, for the associated domain. Mm, yes, I believe so, yeah. Europe, yeah, you're probably not. Oh, name servers, Internet. yeah, that's yeah. where it's at. Okay, so NS records, using these name servers, so just hit change. Mm -hmm. What is it, I'll use my own name servers? Uh, yes, use your own, and then you can delete all of those and then put in the Cloudflare ones. Yeah. So we have Dexter and Perla. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dexter and Perla. Click save. And then, we just, then we just need to wait for that to kind of... Is that pretty fast, typically, or...? Uh, well, so now what we need to do is, yeah, for, uh, sometimes it, sometimes it takes a little bit. Let's go back to Cloudflare. Can I just ask you, like, this is kind of like, yeah. um, did it not change? Let's see. Propagation status, not checked for websites, not using DreamHost name servers. Well, yeah. Okay. Um, refresh the DNS there. Let's see if, um, yeah. Oh, right here, name servers. Cool. Oh, it's at the top now. Okay, yeah. Cool. Okay, now let's go to Cloudflare. Okay. <laughs> done. And Check let's say servers. done. Yeah. And we could just, for this, we just say finish late, later for those. That, that's okay. Okay. Um, and then at the bottom where it says, there's a button that says check name servers. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, and so now it's just a matter of waiting. So what I'll do on my side, I'm going to say, okay, so it's GHL bounty hunters.com. And I can look to see if it's changed. Show, on us, my show, end. Show, show us how is it, is it mm -hmm. terminal? It is. You want me to share my screen or, or just give me the command. Is it, uh, mm -hmm. so do just type in who is all one word space, your domain. And you could do um, space hyphen I. Well, that's fine. So yeah, so at the very bottom, name server. So it's already changed for you Okay. Um, for your region. So nice. let me see if it's changed from my side. Okay. Um, I see the same thing. So we should be good for the most part. Okay. There may be some things still propagating, but. How, okay. So should we continue to work towards this mailbox, this uh, GHL in inbox? Yep. So let's go to uh, Melgun. Okay. And we need to verify those records. So let's hit let's hit the verify button. And looks like everything checked. Uh, hit verify one more time. Okay. So there it is. There's my domain, GHL Bounty Hunters. Okay. Okay, cool. So that's done. Um, so now for that domain, actually let's on the left-hand side, go to receiving. You, let me check your routes. So we got a catch all route. Um, that is fine. Okay, cool. How do I know that I'm in the right domain right now? I'm, I'm not seeing like- Well, the, the catch all, yeah. So the catch all is going to be for everything under your account. So that oh. catch all forward address that's showing there, oh. that's going to forward everything into GHL. And, and yeah. this is this is how that, remember we were working on that do not reply thing and someone <laughs> replied. Mm -hmm. I think that's how this came into my email that one day was because of this. Well, this is going to direct it in the conversation views. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, it yeah. says James at ddxweb.com, but Oh, I see that. Yeah. So you've oh. got it. Oh, yeah. So oh, we okay. added another two? mailbox. Do I, do I have two there? Yeah. So you've got the um, webhook address and then you've got a comma separated, comma separated. Uh, outside. Yeah. You've got so another. That is, that is how we got that email that day. Exactly. If you, if you remember that. Yep. Yep. Cool. <clears throat>
Okay, maybe so should, now maybe I should give that a better name. How do I name? How do I rename that? Still you enjoy? you can click catch all. You can name it. Um, yeah. Once you was, um, high at the level very bottom. route and CC. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So so now um, the yeah. only other thing that we need to do is we need to map that newly created Melgun domain to the location in GHL. So let's go into your high level. Okay. We need to go into your agency view. Okay. The key with this is that as long as this domain is mapped to a single location, then we should get um, direct mail, uh, direct okay. email. Okay. 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 Now so we're... now let's go to um, go to settings. Settings. Agency view settings. Yeah, and then go to email services. Okay. And then we want to add service. Actually, go to location settings at the top. Oh. They've changed the way some of this looks. So now let's find the location that this is going to be mapped to. And we want okay. to hit the pencil icon for that location. I don't think I've been into this screen. Yeah, it's different. They just changed it recently. Yeah, so yeah, hit that one. Now grab your private API key. For Mailgun? For Mailgun. Okay, guys, close your eyes. <laughs> okay, so I add the API key and then I pick I pick the new mm -hmm. the new one we just made, the, the root. Yep. And hit save. You can see my screen again. Yeah, I can. So now you guys, you didn't get to see that get entered, but now that, so most all of them, these are on a subdomain, but now this little guy is on that root one we just worked on. So, so what I'll do, um, that should be it. So I'm going to go and try to send you an email. Nice. Um, or, or I could use, I could hit the PayPal thing, right? Or that, yeah, have, let's go. Yeah, let's do that. I the, forgot the, that that was something. Yeah, the reason we're here is so I can verify mm -hmm. my my PayPal. Look how much money I made, zero dollars. No. Um, okay, send link again. The link was resent. We can send it again in 43 seconds. So okay. now I'm going into the, the sub account. Yeah, go into the sub account. And, and go directly to conversations on the left. Okay. And now we're just waiting. Okay. There should be more conversations than that. And then what I'll do, I'll make sure that I see everything correct on my end here. Okay. So GHL bounty hunters.com. Yep, I hey, see your MX nope. records. Okay, I see that, but okay. So now I'm just waiting. Now I wouldn't ever well, would I would I ever show up into my would it show up as a contact that I could open up here? Well, um, if it's directing, so yeah, you can go to that specific contact, whatever email address you have it. Yeah. So James at, you can so, go to your contact if you've got yeah. it. Okay. Um, but it should show in conversation view too. So is that, if that first inbound thing, dude, I wonder if you can like, I, I wonder if you can kick off an automation kind of like how you can say, Hey, text, text party to this number and start this thing. Can you, can someone say, Hey, text support or send an email to support at, and that kicks off an automation. I'm curious. Mm -hmm. I'm curious so I just said possible. Yeah. Um, let's see, hold on just one second. I sent you a, an email. Okay. Go into conversation view. I may in, take it I'm just in. a moment. I'm in conversation view. Now, okay, so, and also the other thing is that um, under your routes inside of GHL, we're also sending that has a forward to your other inbox at DDX web. Check that inbox as well. Uh, like my, my Google suite, my G suite one? Yeah. Okay. Um, it should show up in both locations, but since we're not seeing it in conversation view, I doubt that it's sent that way yet. Okay. Um, so we're just kind of waiting. I don't see any 
I don't see any issues with it just yet because I don't have a bounce back. Okay. But, uh, but this is basically the process, right? That we're, yeah, this if, is the process. Yeah, we, exactly. If this, if this worked, if we saw the email, we'd, we're done. Okay. Exactly. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, um, if we need to, uh, Add a little extra if there's any other little steps we'll definitely add it but that's how it works guys hey so um matt and i we left that there for a little bit and i'm just following up with you with what happened if anything you know we had to do any other things uh really all we had to do was was just wait uh for some of those records to kind of propagate across the internet DN dns records name server records right so matt had sent me this test here uh, literally it says test right and so that eventually came through. So you can see here that it came into the conversations view. Um, so that was working. Um, and then also, if you look at this here, this route, so on I guess it's on receiving and routes, you can see that that's kind of that thing that's putting it into high level. And then this is the thing that's actually copying it to my, um, my, my G Suite. Or, you know, it could be your Gmail, right? And this is actually like a global route. Um, so I was talking this um, to Matt, like, hey, well, what if I had employees, you know, how, how could we, could we do more with employees? I mean, I'm sure that it would come in. I'm sure that it would come in here just like any of these other conversations. So for the purposes of, of uh, for the purposes of like confirming your email with PayPal, that example, that worked. I mean, that was great, right? Um, but it's not like a true, you know, dedicated inbox that someone can log in and log out of. And it's not, it's gonna, not going to be just like G Suite. Okay. So hopefully that wasn't um, what you were thinking this was, but we, we might be able to start pushing the envelope on, on some of that, those ideas. Right. Uh, but anyway, so here's uh, in my G Suite. So this did get copied here. Uh, so that actually came in to here. So I could manage it from here. Uh, you can see it says to James at ghlbountyhunters.com, right? Now, what else? So, yeah, back circling back around to PayPal, right? So, eventually, the PayPal email that started this all uh, came through, okay? So, I was able to confirm my email with PayPal. And similarly, um, if I do a search for PayPal here, uh, you can see here as well. So, this came in. Right, and it was to um, James at GHL Bounty Hunters. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm gonna try and push the envelope some more with this. See, see what we can do. Um, if you haven't checked out GHL Bounty Hunters, definitely check it out. It's super cool. Um, we are doing some. We're really pushing the boundaries of what is possible out there. Um, so you come in here. You said I'd like to name my price. Um, pay, pledge an amount you, you would pay if you if we can fix your problem. So you get to say, hey, I'm only going to pay you if you actually fix it, right? And you just pledge it. You don't have to prepay. Uh, we're working on getting that near as live as possible, right? So you submit this ticket ASAP. I want to get on there as soon as possible. Or if you, you know, if you're busy right now, but you want to get this on the schedule, you can uh, book an appointment and we're working on that as well. So uh, we've had uh, we've had some success uh, solving some problems. And uh, that's, uh, it's been super fun just building this thing out. We've actually are not shy to share, uh, you know, our stats. So this is like, this was like a, a test, I believe, right? But, uh, you know, the last ticket was solved at 519. Someone claimed it at 512 and it was created at 510. So those stats will always be refreshing. Um, and then here you would come in and pick the earliest time here to, to get on a call and you'd fill out this information. So super fun new model uh for hopefully live global on-demand tech support over zoom um definitely give it a try let me know your thoughts on that and uh, thanks so much matt for for putting this together and helping us there's a lot of interest um looks like I, again i apologize if if anyone if i felt like we misled anybody on what this was um hopefully that that's uh you understand what what i was talking about that uh, yeah i just wanted to get an email into into this uh, high level here which yeah you, you know you know what i mean so anyways check out my other videos subscribe if you haven't if you like this stuff and i'll see you guys in the next video bye
Hope you enjoyed the show. Advice given is for educational purposes only and may not be applicable to your business. You should know that the marketing show receives compensation through its affiliate relationship for the products and services it recommends. Thank you for your support and we hope to see you on the next episode of The Marketing Show.